Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add web view in your APK. So let me show you a quick overview of the app which I'm going to show you today. So this is the web view which I have designed. And in this one, I have set the web page that is www.google.com. And here you can see this, this is a web view. And here you can search anything. Like I'm going to search VTech days and hit enter. And here you can see this it's showing our videos if i click on back it moves to the back okay so if i search we take days and it correct us and when i click on this by default you cannot play video inside this web view so i'm going to show you how to play this video as well so here you can see this in this one my video is being played and let's start with that without wasting any time so create a new project Select this empty activity, click on next, and I'm going to name this one Web View Demo. Hit enter, and this will create a new project within a few seconds. And after this, move back to this one that is activity underscore main.xml file. And here, first thing what we have to do is we have to go to this split and move back over here. And first thing what I have to do is I have to just Add a web view. I don't need this text view. So let me remove this one. And here I'm going to add one web view. So you have to write like web view. And I'm going to write this one match parent and not wrap content. I'm, I'm going to write this one match parent like this. And we have to set the ID for this one. So ID, I'm going to set the web view. Now that's it. Whatever we have to design to this design part is done. Now move back to this main activity dot Java. And here what we have to do is initially we have to take a variable of type web view. So web view and I'm going to name this one web view like this. And after this we have to register this one. So web view is equal to find view by id r dot id dot web view now what i have to do is i have to set a link where you want to open this web view dot set web view client and inside this one you have to write new web view client like this and after this what we have to do is we have to set the url web view dot load url and i'm going to set Google that is https colon double slash www.google.com like this and after this we have to just start this one and let's start and let's check if this works or not so I've started the project and here you can see this error cache cache mess it shows some error so how to fix this what we have to do is we have to just go to the manifest file and here we have to make few changes. Here what we have to write is inside this application we have to write uses clear text traffic and make this one true. Now start it again and let's see the difference. This time it's still showing this one. Okay so let me fix this. Actually, we have not given the internet permission to this one. So I'm going to give the internet permission inside this manifest file. So this will be users permission and this one will be Android permission internet slash and let's start this. Let's check this time. Okay, so this time the Google is visible. So I'm going to search for BDIC days and when I hit enter, it opens like this. And when I click on this, instead of just going back page, it actually closes the application. So how to fix this? You must have observed this. So we have created this one web view demo and inside this one. Whenever I write like this BDIC days and search for something. And when I click on this back, the normal whatever user understand is when I click on back, it means that we have to move to the previous space, not to exit the application. So how to prevent this? For that, just move back to this main activity. And here, what we have to do, is we have to override the method. That is, let me just,
write like this serial alt o and it's alt insert and you have to click on this one override and here we have to search for on back pressed and click on enter now after this what we have to do is if web view dot can go back we have to move back so web view dot go back like this in the else condition we have to set this that is the default thing that is super dot on back pressed like this one and it now let's start this and let's check if this works this time or not so i've started this one and i'm going to search for btech days again click on enter and this time when i click on this now we move back to the previous page okay so next thing what we have to do is we have to actually set for youtube videos if we with the proper link we can actually see some video or perform some operation okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this web url let me just change this one copy this and paste it over here and i'm going to set this one to youtube.com now start this and let's check if this works or not so if i set this to youtube.com here you can see this the application crashes nothing happens so here you can see this now this one is visible if you if you are worried that why this one is showing like this to the youtube and if you are thinking that this will load in some seconds or some time then don't think that this one is not going to load i have waited so long to check this if this loads or not this will not load we have to make some changes over here so what are the two what are those changes so let me just show you so here first thing what i have to do is i have to just change this web view dot set web view client web view web chrome client and make this one new web chrome client when you do this and when you write like this let me just type slash ptake days now start this and now the application opens and here you can see this it opens youtube.com now the logo is visible and it's taking few seconds okay okay so we have to actually enable the javascript as well so for that we can also change the settings for this one so web settings web settings web settings is equal to web view dot get settings and after this i have to set this web setting dot set java script enabled true and one more thing we have to do is web setting web setting dot set plugin state and change this one to web setting settings dot like dot on now start this terminate okay this is having some issue let me remove this and now start this and try to open the youtube and here you can see this this time it quickly loads and we can see the multiple videos over here so before it hits the copyright i, am, I have to close that and i have to change this one to google and let me comment this one and now start this terminate and move back over here and here i'm going to search for ptech days and hit enter and it's asking for a robot or not 
before when I have not enabled the JavaScript, we can't able to see this page. But this time I am able to see this one. So it's asking, checking for the robot or not. So I've successfully passed the test. And here you can see that this is my video. When I click on this, and our project name is WebView Demo. So it's working. And here you can see this now the video also starts playing. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And you can also donate us. Link is already in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.